Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is the haul from the Dollar Tree haul from the Shop With Me that I just did in that brand new, brand spanking new Dollar Tree. It had been a Pier 1 Imports and Dollar Tree bought it. And this is the haul from that, you know, I spent $50 in that store, which is easy to do, anybody who knows. I was just goggle-eyed at everything that um, they had in that store for fall and Halloween. If this is your first time uh, stopping by my channel, I hope you decide to like and subscribe. I do uh, a daily devotion every morning. I also do Dollar Tree shop with me's because I'm not rich enough to buy everything I see, although that would be easy for me to do. I also do hauls. I've done some DIY projects. I, um, I have a variety of things. So I hope you decide to stick around and like and subscribe, share with your friends, click the bell, whatever it is that they recommend that you do. I'm, I'm new to this, and so it's going to be funny watching me bumble around. This is just my first year doing this channel, so it'll be interesting to see as I figure things out. But let's get into my haul. <clears throat> I was really impressed with everything that I saw. This is at random. I haven't had time to organize everything. I'll just start with the fall florals that I picked up, which if you saw my um, shop with me, I'll link that below, by the way, so you guys can check it out if you haven't checked it out yet. I did pick up some fall florals. And here we go. These are the hydrangeas in this very pretty burgundy color. Very nice. It'd be nice to add this to a wreath. Um, I also picked up in the same color the peonies. These are beautiful individually. They may not, you know, that may not be full enough for you. I've actually wired two of them together with the floral tape to make a much fuller peony if that's what you're going for beautiful for centerpieces my house is just filled with floral um i also picked up a couple of the white peonies i'm pro i'm regretting i didn't pick up more of these of the white um, i'll probably go back and pick up some more of these i love the idea of making a flower for my hair a corsage I mean there's so many other things I'm, I'm an old-fashioned gal I really love the idea of a beautiful corsage for a special occasion whether it's a birthday whether it's an anniversary or even just date night on Friday wearing a corsage really seems to elevate the moment and everybody notices in a good way in a good way so I do um, wedding flowers and things like that with my silk and pearls um, business but um, this is really nice I also picked up some of these white leaves I've never seen the fall leaves in this color and I thought it would be a beautiful accent to a nice uh, floral arrangement that I will make um, I like setting out florals every year for every season centerpiece on my dining room table <clears throat> in tables excuse me in my dining room I mean in my living room and just different areas even tucking some florals on the bookcases I just think it really springs which I don't have any florals here <laughs> in my bedroom but there, there's wreaths in other places I just haven't put any back here but you know I mean setting setting a floral up in the corner there you know that's really nice you can come up with a really good uh, and they have a lot of wonderful things in the Dollar Tree that you can buy that have flowers on them you can just put up there on a bookshelf I also picked up a couple of these clips these are their dahlia clips they had them in this red and this purple now I want to point out that sometimes the layers of the flowers can be on top of one another and you may need to to separate so that you can get a little bit more dimension in there so you see the the layers They're like all stacked on top of one another and you can arrange them so that they're, you know. This also came in black with purple glitter on the ends. This was in their Halloween section. And these are clips on the back. You could clip these to ribbons. You could clip these to wreaths. You could, um, I mean, even from here, you could clip it right there or change that out for a hair thing. You can see how that's on there. You could, if you don't like that clip, you could pull that off and do a DIY hair clip, hair comb, whatever it is that you want to do. These are gorgeous, and 
I, I guess I'm just that old vintagey, old Hollywood kind of look. I love a flower in the hair or on the dress. So that's these, and they're just beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Just nice. Okay. Next, I picked up a couple spools of this ribbon that I thought was really beautiful. I'm gonna make a couple of things, add maybe some pumpkins and some other things to it just to see how that turns out. Maybe even adding, you know, a peony in the center. I think that would be beautiful. Uh, oh, I did find this, they randomly did these. I did find this dishwashing set in the toy section. Um, my granddaughter has not, um, does not have this one yet. And I'm getting her today for the weekend. She's coming to stay with her Gigi and Papa this weekend. So this is a nice little, for a dollar. I mean, and you get in it. You get the little um, basket, dishwashing basket. But there's two pink cups. It looks like there's uh, a fork, a knife, and a spoon, and a plate. Two plates. It looks like two plates. And a little dishwashing detergent. So that's kind of going to be a fun little thing for her to play with. And... This is one of the fall things that I just went ape over. Look at that. Beautifully carved monograms. They had all kinds. And again, check out the link below the shop with me. They had these. They also had this in, I believe, an orange color or this wood looking color, this carved out letter. They had flat plaques that were, um, not flat plaques. They, they looked like wood, but they were, um, well, they did have some flat plaques. They had three or four different varieties of things with initials on them, with letters on them. Even the bigger, yeah, they did have the bigger flat plaques, but um, very nice, very farmhouse, very much so. I love it. So I grabbed one. They had a few. I think this is the only style that had my initial on it, so... Okay. Here is one of the, look how beautiful this is. I've noticed they've added the teal pumpkin and in the shop with me, it dawned on me. I think there's a little campaign for the teal pumpkins for kids that have severe food allergies or peanut allergies. For the homes that are not gonna be handing out, they hand out other things that, you know, like pencils or games or, you know, other things. So I think that might be why they've added that in there, but I think that's a cute idea. I'm loving the color palette that Dollar Tree has this year. This said fall. They also had another one that said home on it. So beautiful. And of course it hangs. You could put that on your front door. You could, you know, put it in your home, wherever you want that. I picked up two of the 2022 calendars. And uh, these are the sentiments on the back of what each one looks like. As a paper crafter, I tend to not just look at the calendar as a calendar, but also look at these pages for potential use um, in paper crafting later on. So even if I, you know, I can buy three and four calendars, I don't need that many, but I'm looking at the pictures and things on it. So this is really nice. I love the florals on this. I'm a big flower girl. And the words are always nice too, very encouraging. This was in the Blessings Bloom and Faith Can Move Mountains. There was quite a few different styles that they had. There's some farmhouse calendars that I've seen other YouTubers haul and I've got my eye out for them because they had some very nice images on them. Apparently they go fast when people see them. And so I did pick up some stickers. And I've got a, I've got duplicates of, of one somewhere, but I picked up these stickers. These are nice. It says, um, believe in the magic of, I can't read that. Believe in the magic of harvest, carve out some good times and happy harvest. I like those. Those are, they look like they're, they've got some, well, these are clear, but you know those as well and then I bought two of these the other ones in one of the bags somewhere I love that look at the candle the pie the cinnamon buns I think the candle is my favorite one here the cup of coffee 
the wording on that says the only <clears throat> see the only thing getting lit this weekend are my scented candles <laughs> that's cute and it says oh my gourd happy fall that one oh my gourd happy fall and then that one's the only thing getting lit are my scented candles and then let's stay home oh that's nice there's one good thing that came out of that pandemic is people appreciating home more, doing things with their family more. I really loved that that was um, a positive. And I did pick up, oh, there's that other sheet of stickers. <clears throat> I picked up these, which I love using these. I do hair bows for um, little girls. And so I picked up, there's ten, nine per pack here. So I got 18 of those, and there's six per pack here. So I got a dozen of those. So those are going to look really cute for some fall hair bows. I've got quite a few bit of ribbon, but I love these. And, of course, the wiring on the back. These are great for any kind of paper crafting, embellishments that you want to add to stuff. These are really good. Okay. I picked up two more cars for my granddaughter. She's just discovering wheels. She was playing, her, her other grandparents gave her some cars for her birthday because her birthday was last week. And um, when she plays cars, you know, what do boys do? They're crashing, they're racing, they're doing all these things, you know. She's having the cars talk to each other. Hey, let's go to the school. <laughs> It's the cutest thing to see. She loves the cars, but girls play with cars differently than boys do. So these are part of the Stars and Stripes series. This is the Chevy Blazer 4x4, number 5 of 10. And this one is the 68 Hemi Barracuda, number 4 of 10. She doesn't have these. So and I thought, oh, just notice it has a 4 right there. Don't mind my nails. I need to redo them. I just noticed they're really chick. Okay, those are for her. I did pick up this pencil holder for my refrigerator downstairs. Really nice shade of blue. This is the blue that's that's part of the back to school color palette along with the green, um, pale peachy orange and pink. And so that's got a suction cup on the back. That'll be nice to have the um, dry erase markers and the things on there for the message board that I have there. I picked up these two things. I love these, the metal detail and the jute string up here. These are really cute. You could, you know, tuck one up on the shelf. <clears throat> Little places to put things for the fall. And all things give thanks. And this is that light green. And this one says, thankful, grateful, and truly blessed. These would be great on a tear tray as well. I need to make me a new tear tray. Mine, um, the bottom candlestick I thought was a little too short. I wanted it taller, so I've got, I think I'm gonna go grab one of those margarita glasses. But that's these, and I think they're really cute. I love that metal. This is a dollar, guys. This is a dollar. I just don't know how they produce those things for a dollar. And then I picked up four of these. Wake up and smell the coffee. My family are definitely coffee drinkers. I picked up four of those. That's really nice, and it's got that navy blue. It's got some nice little... I have two ovens in my house. <coughs> One had been a wall unit. I'm so sorry about clearing my throat. And when we renovated, I did not want to throw that oven away. So I made them build an island. And I have one oven there, just the oven. And the other one is the gas oven and stove on the other side. It really makes entertaining easy. I saw these in Flipped. And I picked up one of each. It comes in the brown and black. These, I don't know if these are leather or not. This is not a Dollar Tree product. Oh, it's faux leather, it says on here. This is by Unison. They're calling it a coupon organizer. But look at this. Okay, this is the black one. There's a place for your credit cards. 
or your store discount cards. There's an, a list there, and then you open this up, and look at all that. Look at the color on the side. This is so, I mean, there's black, and then in the back there's also a place here for your change. Right there. And it comes in the brown. Look at that. I think the brown's my favorite. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't believe this is a dollar. This is not a Dollar Tree product. Not sure if they're going to be in your area. And if they are, they may not come back because this is not... The brand is Unison. That's a dollar. I could not believe it. You should hear my reaction on the, um, on the shop with me. I did pick up two more of these. Um, as a former Pamper Chef consultant, I have a lot of stoneware, and they make that scraping noise, and even your pots and pans when you're trying to store them. And so this is a great way to make sure things aren't getting chipped. If you're packing up stuff, you want to keep it safe. It does come in the three sizes, the small, the medium, and the large. And you can see here, small, medium, large. I've got two. These are really nice. It's a nice thin, but a little bit of a stiff felt. So it it works. It. I just used six the other day, and I thought I need some more of those. I was reorganizing things. All right, I did find a new color book, and I love to color. August 2nd, by the way, is coloring book day. Uh, color books I found out from a friend who always posts, you know, if it's a hot dog day or if it's apple pie day or if it's, you know, hug your pet day. He knows all that. And he posted that color book day was on August 2nd. And the history behind it, and I believe Dover, the Dover Publishing Company or whatever, they're the ones in 2015 who declared August 2nd color book day. But it was originally done as a way to introduce art to children. And it was supposed to be used with paint originally because crayons weren't around yet. It was the 1800s, all this stuff happened. And I don't remember which company it was that started it, but look at these images. I, for, personally, I think these rainbow high dolls are gorgeous. Look at these. They're just such beautiful dolls. I can't wait until my granddaughter is old enough to have one of these and appreciate them. But look at that. There, and it's, There's activities in here as well, but I think those are so pretty. Such pretty dolls. And so I picked that up. Her and I can color in that this weekend. I also found some more stories, and you know, I have another channel which is linked below, Storytime with Gigi. I read, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. I read stories, any kind of story on there, and Dollar Tree is a great way. I, I think children should own their own books. Uh, kids really should be reading or appreciating books, having things that are their own, developing a love for reading. That's the motive for that channel. And so there's a whole list of these classic books Dollar Tree puts out, I think. Yep, this is Greenbrier. This is a Dollar Tree product. So I found Chicken Little. And I haven't found this one yet. The ones I do have are, let's see. Wow, there's a lot I don't have. I just picked up Chicken Little. I've got 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, Treasure Island, Tom Sawyer, um, Paul Bunyan, Puss in Boots, Goldilocks and the Three Bears. So there's a lot in, well, I have a few. I need to get the whole collection. Anyway, I found Chicken Little. It's got cute pictures that are engaging very nice very cute and so I'll be reading that on my channel and then I found these Benden books which Benden I don't think yeah that's a Greenbrier product this is Minnie the flower prowler and that's a cute little story I love these books they're hardbound very cute full color very nice and then this one is Mickey and Friends Ticket Trouble. 
And so that's a cute little book. I can't wait to dig into these. I just, getting your child interested in reading and encouraging that love of reading is probably one of the greatest things a parent can ever do for their child. And then I found, I think this is the last of it, <clears throat> I found these three things, actually, let me do it the correct way. These are going to go in my gift um, section. This is called a stationary set. It's a Jot product. Is there a pin with this? Yes, there's a pin. There's a pin, and then there's like a list here, and then these look like sticky, sticky notes. There's this blue and black one. Enjoy sunny days with the pineapple and the strawberry. Look at that, strawberry notes, sunny notes, and then the pineapple notes. Look how cute that is with the pen. Now, I don't know if the pen is pink. Oh, no, that's the, it looks like it's a black ink pen. That's the elastic that holds it. And then, let's see, this last one. This one might be my favorite because I like flowers. Oh, yeah, that's really nice with the butterflies. The flowers here, really cute. But these three for a dollar, guys. And I think that's it. Yep, that's it. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed my haul. I hope you're able to find some of these things at your Dollar Tree. Um, <clears throat> comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are about some of these things or if you're finding different things. I look, there's quite a few YouTubers I follow that do hauls and shop with me, and I love it. So thank you again for spending a little time with me. Make sure you like and subscribe, and bye until next time.